Hi, I'm Dr. Steven Dominguez, and today we're going to talk about why do I keep eating and eating and eating and eating? How many times have you asked yourself that? How many times have others asked you that? Well, it's because the more I eat, the better I feel, the better I feel, the more I eat. It's quite simple. It's that trigger that it comes from the endocannabinoid system that is the feel-good system. It's the feel-good system that's innate. Once it's stimulated, once it's activated, we just have to keep eating and eating and eating because it makes us feel good. Now, what are our triggers? 75% of overeating is emotional. We eat in response to boredom, anger, depression, tension, anxiety, loneliness, problems with interpersonal relationships, poor self-esteem. We eat comfort foods. Those things that make us feel good, chocolate, popcorn, chips, cookies, cake, ice cream, you know them. You know what comfort foods trigger you. These comfort foods make us feel good, so therefore we eat more. The more we eat, the more we gain, the more we gain, the more loneliness, rejection, poor self-esteem. You see the picture. The endocannabinoid system is very important. It is so important that we have recognized this, this as physicians to be a major stimulus for weight gain. Now, the endocannabinoid system is profound. It's found in a variety of different organs and tissues. What's important today is when the brain is stimulated, the brain cells are stimulated, the intestine, the liver is all stimulated. This results in weight gain, visceral obesity, which is the worst one to have, you remember the talk about the apple, pear, and banana. This will result in an increase in fat cells, which, as you well know, is also an organ system. This releases a variety of proteins and enzymes that's going to lead to diabetes, insulin resistance. It's going to lead to an increase in your triglycerides, a decrease in your HDL, your good cholesterol. And it's going to make you obese and sick. So, again, let's go over triggers triggers that you need to know so you can stop the cycle, stop the process. One, so socio triggers. Hey, I only eat when I'm around people. Okay, well, you know what? We're around people for what we can give them and what they can give us to feel better not to eat. So that's not an excuse. Emotional eating. Now this is the big one. Remember 75% of people overeat because of emotional. One, we went through this. Let's again, briefly. Boredom, stress, fatigue, tension, problems with spouse, kids, etc. It's to fill the void, the loneliness void. Again, situational. This is a little bit different now. I only eat when the situation is there, i.e., the buffet table. Or, what I only eat when I watch TV. Don't watch TV. Or, I only have a thousand calories at the movies. Well, guess what? You don't need to go to the movies and eat a thousand extra calories. Thoughts, negative thoughts, thoughts of no self-worth. This is important. Why? There was a very remarkable study on Taiwanese female students. You see the picture already. They gave us a, a survey to these individuals and they asked them, do you think that you are Underweight, no weight, or overweight? Real simple study. 52% of these college females thought they were overweight or obese. Well, it only came down to 16% of them were overweight, not of obese, overweight. Yet 52% perceived themselves as being obese. Physical. Hey, look, we all skip a meal here and there. We all know what it's like to be hungry. We all know about the headaches. Don't skip meals. Have three basic meals and snacks in between. All right, let's recapitulate this. Now, why do I keep eating, eating, eating? It's because the endocannabinoid system, which has receptors which are found in your brain, your fat, your muscles, your intestines, your liver, this gets stimulated. You keep eating. It's comfort. The more I eat, the better I feel. The better I feel, the more I eat. The more I eat, the more I gain in weight. Stop it. Stop it. 
God bless you.